All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, 4321 Before the Fire. Christ, his purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. Listen up. Let me explain to you what the heck's going on. For days, I've been accumulating this information to deliver the definitive knockout punch to Satan. No one will be able to argue with Genesis 1 about Elohim being another race of beings. No one. Because the scriptures the Lord gave me, along with the spiritual gift he gave me, ties it together in a way that's unarguable. I'm just telling you. The video that you just saw, I was attacked during the video. Watch this. These are the show note links. You see this? The side it can't be reached. Here's another one. They're right here on my desktop. Right here. See it? Okay, this is another one. This is another one. This is it. 4321 show notes. See it? The site, it can't be reached. Uh, unexpectedly close the connection. Okay, let me tell you what happened. Uh, well, I don't want to give too much details away to the enemy that is jacking with my ability. Now, don't forget, I was taken off YouTube with 160,000 subs, even when my my channel was being suppressed with hundreds of millions of views on videos and they targeted my channel and took it down. I'm out doing videos again and I'm getting to the point in the last three days where I, on a personal level, have come to a plateau of understanding that is so definitive now I can cross-reference the Bible. Now that I own the information, I can cross-reference scriptures, Ezekiel 13, Isaiah 14, Revelation 9. I can use those three scriptures to prove everything I was showing you is absolute truth. Proverbs 25, John 10, John 15, uh, Psalm 35. The Lord has inundated me with his word and a supernatural gift that ties it all together, lurking class clothing, whatever, four hundred clothing, whatever, YG, you guys are so cool. Anyway, so I'm sitting here just tearing it apart on the video I just posted. During that video, when I went, I'm getting ready to show you this model of the system, the host body system, the earth that you're trapped in. The host body, the flesh, is your prison suit. Now listen. I'm unloading it. I'd started unpacking it for you guys. And I'm getting ready to start dropping the rest of it. And look what happens. You see right here, it says, this is the end. That is the show note server that has all the data I've collected for a decade. All the different files, all the information that I use to do the videos. And during the middle, during that video that I told you would be a four or five hour marathon, boom. That show note server gets destroyed. During the production of a video, that's the definitive knockout punch. Yeah, okay. It's kind of like when I did the video on uh, the COVID stuff. All When I showed everybody, hey, the vaccine that they're giving everybody is RNA-based. RNA, ribose nucleic acid. Then I showed everybody, do you know what RPTOR is? Let me show you real quick. Let me show you what RPTOR is. R-P-T-O-R-O-R -O -R RNA. RPTOR RNA. See it? Wikipedia. See it? Did you know that RPTOR, regulatory associated protein of MTOR, is also known as Raptor? You see that right there? You know what a Raptor is, don't you? It's a freaking, it's a lizard, it's a reptile. Remember the whole earth is parthenogenesis. And now I own the understanding of the, the Bible. The beginning of the Bible was parthenogenesis. There was a serpent race. It looks, because it's a human thing, and it looks human, because it's a serpent race, it's still a serpent race. Able to self-fertilize, female, able to self-fertilize able to transgender once they begin a population, able to interbreed, cut interbreeding with itself, able to establish a population on its own by having female archetypes. Okay, I'm showing you all this stuff, and I'm going to the folders with the scriptures and the imagery to destroy Satan's kingdom now. 
in my video, just all of a sudden, all the show notes that I use is no longer available. What? What are you joking? That's exactly what happened. Let me prove it to you. Look. Ready? Here's my show. You see me click on these every video. This is it. This is it. 4321 show notes. Site can't be reached. Here's another one. This is the end. Look, watch this. See this? I'll click on it. Same thing. I'll go over to YouTube. YouTube opens. Now I'll go over to, this is the end. Watch. Watch right here. Watch. Click. Site can't be reached. I'll go to YouTube again. I'll go to this is it 4321 show notes right there. Site can't be reached. I'll go back to YouTube. I'll go back to this is the end. Those are the show notes. That's all the data that has all the scriptures, all the imagery, all the data to give you that I've been telling you. Here it comes. And during the middle of the video, boom, takes a missile. The show notes server is mysteriously gone for good. And there was a connection between two platforms, and I'm without getting to the, with all the minutia and all the details, it didn't make any sense. What the tech guy was telling us does not make sense with what happened. They don't jive. What the guy was telling us on the phone and the support for the companies that are hosting these does not jive. And then Dave and, and Eric Carlos spent most of the day trying to achieve the goal of a reconnection through a different means. And by the grace of God, I had access to the platform data, the raw data. And we were able to take the raw data and we were able to get it reconnected to the internet via another avenue. It was a targeted attack. It was either a targeted attack or one of the craziest coincidences in the world you pick okay I've had too many things happen if I'm the guy that did the Obama's the Antichrist video I'm the guy that went into the FBI and showed them all the bombings on the US currency you don't think I'm being monitored I know I'm being monitored but to know you're being monitored and that you're dropping a truth bomb on the system and mid stride it gets hit give me a freaking break with their new ministry of truth with a psychopath that sings Julie Andrews songs that she changes the words of, it is insanity. Okay, now, by the way, for the record, for anyone that would question my sanity, I've won custody of children, three children in a custody battle in San Antonio, as well as one in a custody battle in Minnesota. Now, you may say, well, so what? Well, when you're a single dad and you're fighting for custody of three children and your opposition is making arguments to the court saying, oh, he's crazy, he's lost his mind, the court orders psychological evaluations. And I don't mean some kind of little psychological evaluation. I mean they put you over the grill. It's called an MMPI. And it takes weeks to months to do it. On my MMPI, when in the first custody battle, when they were making those allegations, I went in and the, the psychologist said, Jonathan, I would like to talk to you. Your MMPI, your, your exam's finished. Can you come to my office? And I went to her office and Ms. Trevino said, Jonathan, I don't understand this. You check out so perfectly that in my field, we call it unremarkable. Your testing is what's called unremarkable. There's nothing to even make a remark about because your testing shows psychologically you're as just, you're unremarkable. It's like nothing. There's nothing to talk about. Why would my opponents be making all these allegations against me? And that's what I said to her. She said, Jonathan, why would these people be saying all this stuff? You know what my answer was? That's a good question. I wonder why. I mean, if they're making the allegations that I've lost my mind or I'm crazy, by the way, the Vatican's a snake. Try and argue with that. Does that show that I'm crazy? Or does that show that I see clearly what's really going on? The Vatican's a snake. Can you argue with it? Well, how do I know? Because the Lord God showed me. Oh, God speaks to you. Yeah, you know what? The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. So, yes, God speaks to me. The Bible says it. My sheep hear my voice. So someone's saying, oh, God speaks to you. I'm like, uh, yeah, 
because I'm connected to him. The Bible even says it. The Bible says those that are followers of Christ, those that are his messengers, that they'll lay hands on the sick. People that are deathly ill and they'll get well. Oh, that's weird because I've laid hands on people with stage four cancer. People that are blind, not once, not twice, repetitively, and they see and people with stage four cancer are well. So the Bible says that's what will follow God's servants. Thank you. Obviously, I must be one of his servants. I'm laying hands on people with stage four cancer. They're well. I'm laying hands on people that are blind, legally blind, and they see. So, I mean, obviously, the Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. So, duh, do you hear his voice? Yeah. How do you think I know the Vatican's a damn snake? Okay, now, just to make the point, anyone that throws out that card like, oh, you lost your mind, you know what? Piss off. No, I'm not. If you're making that if you're making that kind of insinuation against me, it probably means you're the one that's insane, just like it did when I was taken to court over the custody issue of my children. And in the court, I was ordered to take psychological evaluations because my opponent, which obviously was fueled by the other team, and I do mean the pit, the serpent race, made those accusations. Well, I checked out to be perfectly normal, and guess what happened? That court-ordered psychologist said, well, why don't we get her in for some testing? And I would like to test her, and guess what happened? She walked in, she started taking the baseline test, which is a thousand questions, and she got up and walked out and said, I'm not taking this. And guess what the court-ordered psychologist said? You have to, it's not optional. And she goes, call my attorney. And she was deemed an unfit mother at that point. That's when I got custody of my three children. Because the very allegations they were making about me were true about them. Does that remind you of anything? Yeah, like Russian, Russian collusion, Russian. Oh, it's not Joe Biden colluding with, uh, you know, the Ukraine and prosecutors. It's not Joe Biden colluding with China and intellectual property and money. Five million here, three million over here. Oh, it's Trump. I see. So Joe Biden's accusing his adversary of what he himself is more than likely completely guilty of himself. I know because I experienced it in court. They did the same thing to me. Not once, not twice. I was in the courtroom so much it was a joke. But it all proved out to be, no, Jonathan's perfectly fine. It's you we're concerned about. Okay, that didn't happen just once. I had to do it again because they filed another motion. I went through the whole thing again. Same results. That means twice, two times after going through rigorous psychological evaluations with a court-ordered psychologist that's appointed by the court. I go in there and ace their test, and they're like, this guy's totally normal. This guy's got nothing to even remark about. So therefore, if you, and I mean you as an opponent, are trying to make an accusation about me and my mental stability, that would only draw into con question your mental state of mind, adeptness. If I pass everything and you're the one making the ac accusation, but you've never passed anything, then I wonder who the crazy one is. Okay, I'll say, say it again. The Vatican's a damn snake. And understanding that was one of the most important things of understanding being able to crack the code for this whole system that there is a race of insects using the host body system to destroy angels. And that's what, I, that's what I'm going for in these videos that I'm doing right now. I'm going to show you the system. I've got it. Okay, here's what happened. That, all my show notes got destroyed. It looked like they were gone forever, except Robert Chandler from Australia keeps the collect files. So immediately we went to the collect files and Robert Chandler, God bless Robert Chandler had the entire litany of information all memorialized. He had it all backed up. Okay, well, what we did was we, we got in touch with other servers and other companies and some of the, some of the companies that we were dealing with, and we were able to reestablish by reloading up all the information onto a platform and reconnecting it to the Internet so I can still use it and show it to you guys. That's what's been going on today in my life. I mean, do you know how crazy that is? That goes along with some of the other crazy stuff that happens to me. It's just insane. Okay, now, I'm going to take a breath. Now, here's what's going on. I'm doing this video right now, and it is 10.36 p.m. 
I'm going to load this up right now. But I did a video after the whole thing crashed. After the last video that I just put up when it crashed, I was so pissed off while we we're trying to figure out what to do that I started another video while we were trying to reestablish the show notes. And I did a video. I want you to watch it. I want you to watch the video that's going to be right after this. That's the video that I did right after the one and a half hour video that I just posted. And in it, I started getting back into what we're going to talk about. And I told you we're going to talk about the deceitfulness of women. Now, again, please listen. Man, there is no distinction in the human race. It's, like, it's not like women are evil, men are good. It's an energy. It's a female and male energy that are already combined in the system. Do you understand? So I'm not trying to be a misogynist or like women are bad. Not at all. I mean, again, I find the female form probably one of the most outstanding, mind-boggling. Uh, I mean, really, I, I know what got me in most of my trouble during my life was there was a covetousness for that very thing. So, again, my best friend is a girl. Okay, so there you go. My best friend is Jesus. My best friend in a human coat of skin is a fe what you would call a female, a girl, okay? Now, I want you to watch this short little video I'm doing right now. I'm gonna load up the video I did like four hours ago that was after that whole show note server attack happened, and I was pissed. I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep getting this stuff out. I'm gonna load this up right now. I'm gonna start working on another video. I'm gonna load up the one from this afternoon that follows the one that was attacked. And I'm just going to keep going because I'm not even going to wait another day. I'm not going to wait till tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. I'm going to stay up tonight. And I'm going to break into these folders that they targeted. These folders were targeted. And had I not had access to the one platform, by the way, which I really didn't um, previously, but because I saw a future potential problem, the person that had set it up, I made sure that I got access, passwords, uh, access points to it. And between the two different platforms where the alleged problem happened, we were able to reestablish our connection because I had the, the one platform and the, the ownership of it. I had established that previously about nine months ago. Okay, that's what's going on right now. So now I have access again to the folders that were targeted during that long video I just did. Okay, now, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm sick of this serpent race lying bullshit. They are such sick, twisted liars, man. I'm sick of turning on the news and watching the media cover up for Joe Biden. I'm sick of turning on and watching him cover up for Hunter's laptop. I'm sick of him turn, turning on the... TV and seeing the media go after good, decent people like, you know, Candace Owens or Tom Finn from Judicial Watch that are trying simply to share the truth of what's really going on. And all the media can do in big tech is collude to lie, lie, lie. They colluded to take down my channel. It's all total bullshit. When I say they colluded to take down my channel, the suppression of people on social media and what they say is right their little ministry of truth is the reason my channel was taken down and it is because i was willing to share with you guys what huh wow there look, look, what happened to wow what happened to uh r p t O R R P T O N R. See, that's Wikipedia. That's not me. I'm just showing you something from Wikipedia. Regulatory associated protein of MTOR, also known as Raptor. Okay. And then I looked up the meaning of this in the Bible and the meaning of this, and the Lord led me to some other stuff that I was just simply able to show you what are the odds of these things all being involved in the current situation. Next thing you know, my channel's targeted, and boom, boom, boom. Okay. 
I'm loading up this video now. I'm going to give it eh, 30 minutes. Then I'm going to load up the video that I did this afternoon after I got to see the targeted attack on our show notes server. I'm going to load that one up. And then I'm going to sit here while that's all going on. And I'm going to show you before another day passes what I want to make sure you get to see with your own eyes, see it in the Bible and see the imagery associated with it so you can understand what the system looks like. Okay, there it is. Let's do it. All right, let's go.